discussing evolution in PAH management here at CHESS 2015. Thomas Baldrick, delighted to have with us Dr. Victor Tess now at Duke University. Thank you, sir, for coming by. Thank you, Thomas. Can you briefly review the newly approved drugs to treat PAH and the principal role you think they'll have? Well, I think for, uh, for us, the, the addition of two new agents, uh, including Masitantan, which is a non-selective oral endothelin antagonist, which is tissue selective, meaning that it, its effect is most found on the organ we want to affect the most, i.e. the right ventricle and the, and the pulmonary vasculature, is a tremendous addition. It, it has the advantage of being shown to both in combination therapy uh, and in monotherapy uh, to improve morbidity and mortality. Mostly more, uh, that was based on more, uh, morbidity rather than mortality in the study, but it was a huge study. In fact, uh, one of the largest pH studies ever uh, put together, and it was a very novel um, treatment design. And that alone gives us a lot more confidence in using that class of agents to treat pulmonary hypertension. The addition of Riosaquat, uh, or Adempus, which is a, a oral guanolite uh, cyclase stimulator, is also a big, uh, big boon to us because it works through the nitric oxide pathway as, as do a couple of our other agents, but it works in a different way. And because of that, it seems to have some novel pr principles and it is the first agent that has been approved for the treatment of uh, inoperable chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension, which makes it unique. You talk about um, combination therapies being the way to go. How much confidence do you, need, do you have in those? Well. There's actually quite a number of studies looking at combination therapy. Now, the best one was recently published is called Ambition, which looks at the combination of an oral an endothelin antagonist and an oral phosphodiesterase inhibitor. And in that study, the com upfront combination therapy decreased morbidity and mortality, which were the endpoints, began focusing primarily on morbidity. And I believe, based on all the accumulated information on combination therapy, the combination therapy does work, and it probably works better than monotherapy for some patients. Do you have much more confidence treating a PAH patient that walks in your door these days? Um, I, I, you know, I've, for many, I've been doing this for many years, and so I've always felt somewhat confident that we could help the patient. I think as we progress with newer medications and particularly new classes of medications that I'll get even more confident. But I think we know more about which uh, patients are likely to progress rapidly and which are not and thus because of that we treat them more aggressively and thus I think we probably do have better outcomes. Very well sir. Thank you for your time. Best of luck at Duke University. Thank you. Appreciate it.